Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the igniter and flame sensor in your water heater, unplug the power cord and shut off the gas supply. Next, remove the burner access cover. Use a 3 8 inch socket to help unthread the mounting nuts securing the burner cover. Use a 3 quarter inch wrench to unthread the nuts securing the burner tube to the control valve. Disconnect the igniter and sensor wire harness from the valve. Detach the vapor sensor and bracket from the tank base. And pull the burner assembly free. Remove the twist retainer to release the wires. Disconnect the wires from the vapor sensor. Detach the grommet and push the wires through the burner cover. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the mounting screw, securing the igniter and flame sensor, and pull the old elements free. Push the burner tube gasket through the cover to fully release the burner tube. Before you install the new igniter and flame sensor, peel off the old insulation from the burner cover. Apply some high temperature adhesive, then align the new insulation on the inside of the cover. Once secured, insert the burner tube and gasket through the large hole in the cover and push the gasket into place. Next, align the new igniter and flame sensor on the burner tube bracket and replace the mounting screw to secure. Feed the wires through the small hole in the cover and push the grommet into place. Connect the wires to the vapor sensor. Make sure to align the burner tube on the support bracket as you reinstall the burner assembly in the tank. Thread and tighten the nuts to secure. Connect the igniter and sensor wire harness to the control valve. Snap the vapor sensor bracket into place on the tank base. Reattach the burner tube to the valve by threading and tightening the nut. Use the twist retainer to secure the wires. Replace the access cover. With the repair completed, turn the gas supply back on. Plug the power cord back in. And your water heater should be ready for use. 